Maybe I need to put more effort into Instagram stories. No, I you post on my story a lot. Reels are what's bumping right now. Fuck, we should film a reel. We haven't filmed a reel yeah, in a really long time. We should, yeah, I forgot. Hey! That was the last reel. Well, technically we posted, we cut the marmoset thing and put it as a reel. Oh, Fuck, I hit my time limit. Hi, chat. Um, the last reel that we did, it's going to be really depressing. It was WDC. No way. Swear to God. Did we do the marmoset? May 25th. We filmed the Marmoset one, but did we release it? No, because they want it released for, um... Oh, so it's just sitting? When did they want it released? Uh, Wait, did I miss it? Did they want it no, released for... September, right? They want it released... September 1st. That's soon-ish. We should do a reel today. Today? Okay. <clears throat> um... Yeah, last time we did a reel was, was May 25th. That's, like, crazy. I don't know. We can do one on, uh... <clears throat> we can do one on... Maybe we could do one on the crows. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Purple Martin's in the... Are you just going to pretend we're not here? I, guys, this is why I do longer intros. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the intros are usually longer. We're, we're chatting, Okay. Uh, we're having a business meeting. What'd you say? Are there any Purple Martins in the thing? No. We've never had Purple Martins here. Still? Yeah, it's really sad. Because that could have been a good reel, and we could have just overlaid it with footage of the actual roost. Would have been crazy. That'd be really good. Too bad. <laughs> we don't have those. Um, changing the audio setting. He's changing an audio setting? Yeah, it's not going to affect anything. This might be a little shaky. Okay. Um, this is how I attend most meetings, silent with no input. Yeah, I love the camera off. Oh, my mic's not working, but I'll type. Meetings. Those are the best. Um, Winnie and the Scratch Post. Um, I guess we could cut in, like... Some clips of Winnie and I could do a reel about like what beef labels to look for. Ugh, that's a lot of pressure. I mean, people are gonna come for me. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Um, order my dark mode shirt. Hooray! Thank you. What's the plan for today? Okay, so the plan for today is um, on my channel. We're gonna clean. Okay. Um, we got mucking to do. We have to clean the parrots and we have to clean the chickens. Uh, Kayla and Lindsay have prepared surprises for everybody, for all the animals, and so then we'll raid into Alveus and we will um, distribute the surprises. We're not playing Jeopardy again. What do you guys think of Jeopardy? Should we get moving? Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Oh no. I need my hat. It was awesome. I had fun on Connor's team. <laughs> that, was, that was funny yesterday. Um, please do it again. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday because it was really fun. Um, guys, look, I got this at the San Diego Zoo. It has a little beep, beep, beep on it. People pog. Crown that Iris subbed for 14 months. Have a good Friday and weekend. Jeopardy was fun, BTW. Hooray! Thank you. This sunblock is running out. Because he's running out. Don't. Thoughts on the Lara Croft? Lara Croft alleges? I don't know, dude. I'm just... I'm leaning into the Kim Possible, whatever. I don't even know who that is, but people say that all the time. Okay, well, these pants could be long if I didn't zip them off. I don't know why it sounds like that, you guys. It's running out, okay? Thank you, Lord Yawn, for the sub. Also, guys, cringe? I'm using the phone in light mode today. 
because Space said it's easier to see in the sun. Blech. We only like night mode here. Isn't that right, Command Merch? It's not very commemorative of your merch drop. I know. All right. We need to get, we need to get uh, the bin so we can clean the parrots because I made that mistake yesterday. Hello, good morning. Hello, hello. If you take the UT down, yeah. the box trash bag is in the back. Oh, that's okay. We're going to walk. Okay. I wasn't sure like, you were going to get it and you did. I wanted to warn you that there was shit in the back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Flip loves walking. Guys, look, it's a chinchilla. Take a key. Okay. Okay. Key. Where's the key? What are all these for? Oh, hey. I thought you were still looking at the chinchilla. Okay. All right. Down we go. Sucks. Thank you for the sub. How's your neck? I think it's completely healed, actually. I feel fine. Chicken walk. Chicken walk. Down we go. That's good. Pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Hello, littles. Little dotes. Which means I need a spray bottle. Stand by. Stand by. Guys, we're gonna let the dotes out. Oh shit. I need to do their cooling towel thing. Okay, things we're doing before we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Texas one Number one. For Arming ourselves because we're releasing the goats. Number two. Chelsea, Koto, reserved for 13. Hello. We're live. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Texas. Thank you. I love Texas. Um, number two. Uh, it makes me feel really bad that the girls are working in the heat all the time. So I've been trying to think of solutions for a long time uh, for what helps them. And they say what helps the most is... Uh, having we, space got this cooler thing and I fill it with ice and water and then they take cooling towels around and then when they come back in the nut house they dip it in the ice water and they say that helps so we're gonna set that up for them because I've been trying to do that every day and I forgot this morning this is not ice cream this is ice just ice Zorro thank you for the 41 months La 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 la. Okay, I'm gonna. I was going in here because she was using the sink. I'm gonna go over here. La 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 la. Fill with some water. Stand by. If you put in salt, the water gets colder. I believe you, but I don't get that. Why is your chat not in dark mode? Because it's easier to see in the sun, apparently. We're giving it, we're testing it today. All right, I know it's cringe. I don't want to hear it. Good thing we bought so much ice, guys. All right, now I can go. I am releasing the goats. Thank you, Floto, yes. Isn't that funny?
Dotes. You know, you're looking like Oppenheimer with that hat on. Who's Oppenheimer? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Dote. Hi, little Dote. Hey. Release. Look at Vito. Look at Tripper. Kiwi. Kylie. Don't worry about the last one. It doesn't really matter. It's just oatmeal. We all decided yesterday that Pee Wee is the weakest link. Not that it's hard to, to guess that. But Connor was running him up the driveway yesterday and Pee Wee was so far behind and he was actually trying. Was that after they escaped? Yeah. They escaped two days ago. Oh. Vito, you have to promise to not be cringe. She's already being cringe. Hey, don't be cringe. I will squi spray you. Oh my god. <laughs> Incoming cringe. Stay away from me. 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 Stay away from him. I'm gonna make this more streamlined. Like that. That's better. I was kind of misting them, but now it's a, now it's a stream. We're gonna leave this in the parrot vestibule. Hello. Hello! Siren! We're cleaning these guys second, but first we are mucking. Okay, muck time. Look, it's a chicken. Swapping APs. Swapping, swap j, swap j. Two months, what the heck? Hello! Mogster, thank you. Everybody, this is Stompy. He's an Australian chicken. He's falling asleep because I'm holding his head. <laughs> oh, good morning. Is it hard to hold that up all the time? Okay. 
The Stompy. Game Wheels 01 donated hey. $5. Hey, Maya. Hey. I really enjoyed watching how you scared me yesterday. So much fun. I Thank you. Thank you, Gamer Wheels. I'm glad you like Jeopardy. Guys, if you were not at Jeopardy yesterday, there was a surprise that was launched during Jeopardy. Uh, it's a special edition night mode t-shirt. We took the Alvaez merch, we, the merch company, took the Alvaez merch and like made it all dark and night modey, inverted the colors, it's really cool. Uh, and it's only available for 24 hours from yesterday. So it's only available until today at 6 p.m. So if you're interested in buying that, you have to buy it today. <laughs> Quite literally. It's wicked. OMG, the white legs are blinding. I don't think I'm that white, to be honest but that's a new one for me. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Imagine if it was glow in the dark, imagine. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. How do they even get in here for this? Miles no! Thank you for the 21 months. The snakes are doing good. Uh, we found a patchy. Uh, we found a patchy on mite yesterday. We found a mite on patchy yesterday for the first time in like a month, which is really sad. Um, but we did move all, almost all of the insects out of the reptile room because we're done trying to like be gentle with getting rid of mites. We're just gonna nuke it. Uh, but the insects can't be in there because. Um, Obviously, if we're using like treatment to get rid of the mites for the snakes, they'll die because they're insects. So in order to get the snakes in like actual decent enclosures and to not have them on paper towels anymore and in Tupperware, which we hate, uh, we have to get rid of the mites. It just has to be done. So look, it's a chicken. Anyway, um, I'm so... I slept 10 hours last night. <laughs> I feel so tired and I'm like, oh man, I just wanna like take a day off, which is crazy. Cause I just took like a week off, <laughs> basically. I did bring my laptop and I did emails, but other than that, and like one vlog, that's all I did for the week. I think, yeah, we recorded like a few things for one about a Patreon, that's it. I was basically taking, I basically took a week off. But then I came back and Space and I have been working back to back 13 hour days for three days straight, <laughs> try, trying to catch up. And now I feel like I've been working full time for like two weeks and now I'm tired again. Terrible cycle. That would do it. It's actually crazy because it really is like we start filming for Wine About It sometimes at 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Because Cutie's in L.A., which is two hours ahead, and she doesn't get home until like 8 o'clock because she works all day, too. <laughs> and so, so Space and I are like filming until midnight here. Is there any advice you wish? Uh... Well, I have lots of advice for chickens. They need outside space. Uh, they love bugs, so make sure you give them mealworms and stuff like that. You can scatter them. Um, they love produce. A lot of people think chickens like just need chicken scratch, and that is all they need to like survive. But like, you can give them so many fun foods. All your scraps can go to chickens. Not all of them, okay. Look up before you give them something, if it's okay for them to have. But, uh, yeah, they can have lots of different foods and they really enjoy lots of foods. Frozen watermelon, frozen grapes are really fun for chickens. It's good for their beaks too. You wanna see something funny? 
Check out this Winnie shit. She took a nap. On top of it. <laughs> Cows are yucky. Cows are kind of gross. Lion song bird resubbed for five months. Time can. Look. It's her bed. As per usual, Flip is compensating for your not really that white legs by being clad head to toe in black. Thank you, Flip. Thank you, Nate, for the five. Is that a cow pie? These are all cow pies. Yes. Yes. Look. Cow pie. I don't mind mucking here because we're in the oak grove, so it's all in the shade. So this is really just not that bad. I'm shocked we're not effing though, it's kind of sick. Stompy poop looks like, have you ever seen chicken poop? It just looks like a giant chicken poop. Like we're talking like pancake sized chicken poop. Okay, I think we're good there. Here. That tracks, right? Because she's a chicken. Guys, there's a new Albaeus video. Thank you for the 18 months. Um, there's a new Albaeus YouTube video posted on the Albaeus YouTube channel. Um, we want to post on that channel once a month, and we're just posting like the collabs on there right now. Uh, but we're behind because Flip has like 16 jobs. Um, so we started with new editors. Tamam actually edited that video. Wow. For the Squeaks video. Mark. Go check it out. It's pretty good. Pretty good. The collab videos are cool because Flip's a genius um, and does an interview with all the collaborators at the end of the stream, and then the interview gets weaved in. It's really smart. Incoming. Chicken. Did you just try to eat the tree? I love the interview parts. Yeah, they're really good. They're really funny. Stompy, what's in the tree? Is it nice? Steeple pog, wow. Tumor is up for 21 Sometimes Stompy eats air. Which is fine. Bison, thank you for the 15 months. For 21 months. Your smile. Do you bite the camera? Oh, sorry. Sour, thank you for the thank you for the prime bison hero. Thank you for the 15 months. Air is healthy. Stompy. Wow. Super Duper Egg just oh! tier one subs. Super Duper Egg! Is it 10? Think of the 10 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. Stop you, I show them your wing. Here it is. We're holding hands. They're so nice. Oh. <laughs> Are you resting? Have a little sit. Wow. General Rin resubbed for three months. Nick just got a hundred. <laughs> what a crazy thing to come in my chat and say. Someone gives me ten subs, they're watching both of our streams. They're like, Nick just got a hundred subs. <laughs> okay. Go in Nick's chat and say I just got gifted ten subs. He'll be so excited. Cool hat. Thanks. Look at Stompy's toes. Toenail. Pog, wow. Ow. A Kaya underscore P subbed for the first time. 
Thank you for the sub, Akaya. Thank you for the first time sub. Hey, Popog, wow. Douglas Lee resubbed for 21 months. Douglas? Yo. Thank you. Are you eating plant? Are you thinking? Stompy's really interested. I got this bracelet. Hey, um, wow. It's one of those permanent Love bracelets. Poco 96 subbed for the first time. They soldered it on my wrist in Venice Beach, and it's new to Stompy, and, and he wants to eat it real bad. Larico, thank you for the sub. Douglas Z, thank you for the 21 months. I have seen the Karen Emi videos on TikTok, yes. I have. Mm. This is a lot. You know what's crazy? I did this yesterday. Did you guys realize the patch gets mucked every single day? Every day. I did this entire path yesterday. This is all from one day. Kind of cringe. In before people are like, why don't you spread it as fertilizer? Why don't you grow grass in the pasture? Because they produce way too much of it. There is a saturation point in all soils for how much fertilizer they can take before you just pile up poop and it doesn't have the chance to decompose. And then you just kill everything underneath it. We can't spread this much poop or my property would just be covered in poop. Rebecca underscore H9 resubbed for 26 months. Also, sometimes people ask, did you replace the fork? No, actually, this one's uh, chilling right now. No missing teeth. Uh, Rebecca, thank you. Um, some people are like, why don't you grow grass in the pasture? So the reason that people rotate livestock is because they will eat it all the way down until no grass can grow again. That's why our pasture looks like this, is it's massively overgrazed because we don't rotate these animals because we only have one pasture. So we feed them with hay. If you're not if you're rotating your livestock, you don't have to supplement them with hay because you rotate them onto pastures that are overgrown and they can eat down those pastures. But if we tried to, like, if we threw seed down and grew grass, the second it started sprouting, it's getting eaten and dying. You know what I mean? This is why livestock, bison, whatever, travel miles and miles and miles and miles and miles a day and they're never sitting on the same plot of land. And they walk around and they eat everything and they poop while they're walking. So it fertilizes that stuff and it has the chance to grow back because it gets a long break because they keep walking, keep moving. But when they're in the same place, it doesn't have the chance to do that. Ugh. Heavy. I do that too. Oh, it's kind of gross. It's a little windy today, so we're getting a lot of poop dust. And when I say me, we, I mean you too, because you're on my wrist. So. People bug. Damn it. Hitting rocks is the most cringe. Steves, thank you so much. Wow. Doomtime 1456 resubbed for 14 months. Fun. Doom time. Thank you. Scoop and poop. Scoop and poop. Scoop and poop every day. Just kidding, I don't do it every day. Five tier one. Wow! Maybe the five. Incoming. Thank you so much for the five, Loroco. Thank you so much. Alright, now we just have to push this up the hill. Which is 
fine. It's fine. A little rock here and there. Feels really good on my neck. Honestly, it feels really, really good. Save of the eight months. You gotta go on a slope, you know? Except we're not taking it out just yet. JP, thank you for the sub. Um, we need to collect hay bags, give the pasture hage, and we need to give Stompy a splash pad. We need to probably fill up their water because sometimes Winnie dumps it. Oh, she didn't. Oh, maybe she did. She dumped. Water. You want a splash pad? Don't go in there. Come here, look. He loves running water. He's gonna wanna get in there. Hey, Stompy, look, splash pad. No, Stompy, Stompy, Stompy. Stompy. <laughs> Chat, don't let her get in there. I repeat, don't let him get in there. Are you making sure he doesn't get in there? Are you even watching him? Why is it always such a bitch to find the inlet on this thing? the dam where is it this is always happen it needs a mark on the top of it chat where do you plug the hose in on this thing kind of pissing me off oh it's right there Nilly tire is up for 12 months thank you for the year Ninny tie Chat, this is Zombie Splash Pad. He likes it. It takes a second to fill up. It fills up the light blue part and then sprays out. But problem, there's a fat hole in this one. And we got patches, but they're up in the nut house. I don't have them on me. I forgot to bring them down. Dumpy! Chicken, I have something for you. You want to see? Come here. No. You can only drink from there. Good chicken. Hello, Fudgy. Look, it's a horsey. Your hair came out. Caleb puts a rock on it. I guess we can do that. Dumpy! Stumpy! Bud, do you want to see a splash pad? People bug. Jackson Dutton resubbed for two months. Hi, my, my mother loves you with all of her heart. <laughs> Thanks. Leave for the two months.
Bobby, look! Your splash pad! Sarah, you're very much in the way. Look! What do you think? He's ready. He's like, where's the water? <laughs> it takes a little bit of time. He's munching. Do you want to go out? You want to go eat outside? Go. Goodness. He's free. Stompy, it's happening. Oh no. baby cow. You want a splash pad? Yay, it's happening. Summertime fun for Stomp. Winnie can go out too, yeah. Do you want to go? Winnie. You can go if you want. Okay. No, take your time. No, please take your time. Need to tell everybody that they're out. Stompy, what do you think? You want a submarine? In the splash pad? He loves it. Splish, splash, chicken. That's a song, isn't it? Not Splish Splash Chicken. Sesame Street. Splish Splash Elmo took a little bath. Ew. Night. Ew. It's, this is not what I wanted. I'm scared. This is what I was looking for. Get away from me. He wants my bracelet. Get away. Please. Go back in this spot.
Are you having fun? Save it two months. Hey, chicken. Submarine. Mm. Hooray. All right, guys. We'll just leave it on. I need to collect hay bags. But we'll leave this on for a second while we do that. So Stompy can continue bathing. Look, it's a donkey. A donkey. Do you guys like how I DJ'd that music down? Wow. What a natural transition. Look, it's jalapeno. I don't get the question a lot, which is surprising, but jalapeno has a notch in his ear because uh, someone cut it off as an identification marker, probably to show that he was gelded in the uh, feedlot. We got him and Serrano, who's our other donkey, from a donkey rescue in Central Texas. They both came off of a feedlot. Um, what that means, people send their animals that they don't want to auction, and then they're bought for whatever. Um, as livestock, or uh, as meat, or most commonly for meat. Or uh, for pet food manufacturers. Cat kibble, dog kibble. Glue industry. Uh, traditional medicine industry. People boil donkey hides and make a gelatin called a zhao. It's used in traditional Chinese medicine as a cure-all for everything. Um, and the demand for it's like shockingly high. So much so that they're, they've reduced donkey, donkey populations in Botswana by like 40%. And so they've had to start importing from the US. So there are donkeys from the US that go uh, into traditional medicine to be used for traditional medicine. That's why we have the donks. Cicadas. Where's the other hay bag? There's one here. Do you guys hear them? Or can you not hear them on the mic? Please. Please not. <laughs> we need one more. Ow, bitch. Mm. What the heck? Chat, where's the last hay bag? Hage. 
Oh, it's over there. Finally caught you live. Hello, Husker. Welcome to the stream. Right over there. I used to husk corn in the summers at the Obon Festival. Fun fact, in Palo Alto, California. Pretty sick. It's a great time. I lied, it was not a great time, it sucked. I think it's the reason I don't like corn to this day. Stompy only bathes when someone's there with him. It's kind of cringe, Stomp. turn the splash pad off because Stompy's not using it and he freaking how'd you do that pulled the hose out it'll shut off do 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 we got a new brush you guys see that on twitter or Instagram or Twitch or whatever. That's Winnie's new brush. Nate bought it for her. She loves it. Speaking of new, Connor also installed this feeder uh, on the Alveas channel. It is an automatic feeder where uh, chat can pay bits or make a donation and it dispenses grain for Winnie and a Sarah. I don't know if it has food in it right now. It's probably out. There's feeder in the trough right now if you want to show the donkeys. Oh, you're right. There is. Donks. Hello, chicken. You can come in here. There's shade in here. We're gonna get this wheelbarrow out. We're gonna do this hay, then we're gonna get the wheelbarrow out, and then we're gonna run up to get water and to pee because I have to pee. And also to get a cooling towel because I want one now. We're running out of hage. <clears throat> I love putting spray sunscreen on and then filling hay, but feed. Someone on the Alveo stream just fed. Thank you for the demonstration. The donkeys aren't up here though. Otherwise, they could eat out of there. One hay bag. Done. Show the donkeys. We just did. They're over there. Oh, one's coming. There's Serrano. There's Serrano. Buddy. Hurry. There's Feige. You can come up here. Do you want some grain? He's coming. Pause champ. You gotta you gotta be patient. You gotta wait for the donkey. command weather. I don't want to talk about it. Here he comes. Serrano. Alvarez Chatters got you a gift. Do you know what's, do you know how that feeder works? No, no. Look, go to your right. 
Look, over there. <gasps> Do you see it? <laughs> What's in there? He doesn't know. He doesn't know that it's in there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thinking about it. His ears are really moving. That's how you know he's... The cogs are turning up there. Let's run a look. Look, bud. Look. Look. See? Grain. Okay, we'll see if he figures that out then. If he doesn't, it's kind of unfortunate. <gasps> Someone got you something. What is it? Thank you for feeding the donkey. For the record, not that I, I probably hopefully don't need to explain this, but this is not their food for the day. <laughs> like, like they get their regular diet and it's like treats that you guys can give them. Um, it's not dependent on you guys feeding them. Stompy found it. You guys are feeding Stompy. Cameron's petting the donkey. Oh, there's drama at the feeder. Even though he doesn't even know that there's food in the feeder. It's crazy. Yay, go jalapeno. Go, buddy. It's wrong out. He's like guarding the feeder and not eating it. You can have a treat. It's in the black bucket. In that bucket that you're guarding. Eat it. Oh my God. I think Winnie has a hang of the feeder significantly better than the donkeys do. What's that? I don't, I feel like Jalapeno gets it and Serrano doesn't, but Serrano won't let Jalapeno over there. Like he definitely knows, like he sees it. Or Jalapeno, I mean. Serrano doesn't for some reason. Here, maybe if I put this feed bag in here, Serrano will let Jalapeno go. Look, Serrano, come eat this. Wow, hey. There's so much food in there, you guys. Go, Jalapeno, go, go, go. Go eat it. Don't say he's dumb. Jalapeno, look, he's locked in. Wait. 
he's locked in. Oh, never mind. Jalapeno, I'm going to show you something. Something really cool, because people have been paying for this. Look. Look, look, look. It's fine. It's okay. Look, food. For you. It's scary because it comes out of the black trough. But if he doesn't, oh, terrible timing. Eat from there. I'm going to make a huge bubble and go around. OK, I'm going to go this way. But you don't need to freak out. The, water, the water's overflowing. Excuse me. So sorry. I beg you to to understand the feeder. I'm begging you. Look. Jalapeno. Look at all this grain. Wow. It's over here. Yes, he is so brave. He's so brave, he's not afraid, he is well behaved. He likes new things and eats my rings. life of a prey animal, folks. Trust nothing. See, if he doesn't step forward with his feet and it's just his whole head, he's safe. <gasps> a little footstep. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. Look, ready? This that you're eating. Now we observe. Oh my God. Pause. Damn it, damn it. The wind moved the, the panel. Damn it. No, we're, we're approaching and retreating it. Look, we're approaching and retreating. It's a strat. He's so brave. He's kind of brave. has to know that it's in there. I think he's just scared of it now. Maybe once we leave, because because um, Sarah and Winnie are out, they can try it. Here, we'll refill the feeder. So on the Alvea channel, you guys can keep feeding them and see if they come up when people aren't in here. a second. Okay, three of those.
I've refilled the feeder on the Alveus channel. We'll put it on the pasture cam and you guys can feed them and hopefully they will figure it out. Ow. And if not, then Winnie will come and eat it later. Okay. We can hold a lot, seven pounds. Seven pounds, it's pretty good. They're doing it. I'm gonna put a hay bag up here so they're next to it. Hey donk. leave these for when the Sarah and Winnie come back. The donkeys don't need four hay bags. All right, donks. Chat, we've left two hay bags. Tell me if they figure it out. Stompy figured it out. Thank you for feeding Stompy. All right, let's go take this wheelbarrow out and then go get some water. My head is starting to hurt. Yesterday during Jeopardy, I had this like rhythmic pounding headache. Like the worst headache I can remember having ever. It was shocking. I, I, then I took ibuprofen and went away. But I can feel it starting to happen again. It kind of freaks me out. And you're like, oh, I drink more water. I drink so much water. Um, yesterday I drank a ton of water. <laughs> she hears the feeder. She's pissed off. Wait, the donkey's already going over there. Is he gonna do it? She's pissed. I'm sorry, lady, you get the feeder all the time. They never do. That was a really sassy move. All right, guys, you gotta watch on the LVS channel for the donkeys to get snacks. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, my head hurts. That's not good. <laughs> Matt, someone's late and zooming. I, did, I told Connor to get here late today because everyone was here so late yesterday. Um, and Connor was like, yeah, 10 a.m. is fine. 10 a.m. is late. <laughs> it's 12.15. <laughs> okay. I also, I did the same cleaning yesterday because I wanted Kayla and Lindsay to get here late because everyone was here until like nine o'clock yesterday. Um, if you fuck with this, I'm gonna be really mad. If you knock it over, I'm gonna be so It's not in the way. Um, I cleaned yesterday morning and did enrichment so that they could get here later. And they still got here at like a normal time. They work too hard, damn it. Up, water, peach. Come back down, clean the parrots, clean the chickens, and dump the wheelbarrow. Easy peasy. Oh God, the cow's gonna break Alex's car. 
that's winning compared to a, a Mustang, if you're interested. <laughs> she actually looks huge right now. Follow me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I win. Okay. He's so brave. He's not brave. I have a headache. Oh no! Look at Sarah and two baby goats. So cute. I feel great. Carbobidus resupted for seven months. Why is Ace's forelock so tiny? Don't talk about that. Carb, thank you for the sub. She doesn't like when you talk about that. Winnie's out of the pasture so she can roam around. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Flip's getting water. Maya's getting water. Then I'm gonna pee. <sighs> Are the donkeys eating? Did they... What the heck? No, he's eating the... Oh, he's not eating the grain. You said your head hurts. Have you drank any water? Oh my god, that's... That is such a good idea. For getting rid of a headache. I hadn't thought about that. Yes, I've had a ton of water today. Yeah. Wow. Serana's eating from the hay bag. Right next to all the grain. Might need electrolytes if you're just drinking plain water. Can I have one of those cringe things? What? The like bio steel thing, the rainbow thing. Do they not? Oh, never mind. Maybe a coconut Red Bull would cure the headache. I don't think so. You actually get better hydrated when you eat and drink water. I also ate today. What do you want from me? Google says it's cancer. Shit. Um, I need to refill this water bottle and I need to pee, so. Okay. Here we go. Hi. Hello, chat. I think that's water. What's water? It's the windhouse. It's wet as hell. Oh, ew, gross. <laughs> it's sweat. Hello. How are we doing, chat? I drove two hours yesterday to go watch Oppenheimer. Ask me anything. Do a backflip, not on space in here. Update calendar cubes on her desk. Okay. I don't know what date it is, so I'm just going to change it and then hope. The underscore tricky underscore red resubbed for 20 months. Flip do a flip. Did I do it right? Did anything explode? No. Not enough explosions in the movie. Two out of ten. Yeah, I had to drive two hours away because it's the only 70 millimeter IMAX. Hey, 70 millimeter IMAX. What would I nuke if I were Oppenheimer? I'll be uh, Christopher Nolan wants to make everybody deaf. I think they turned it down in the theater I went to because it was not that loud. Like the bomb itself going off was loud, but everything else wasn't that loud. How awkward was it when he said the line during that scene? And not awkward at all. We only went with a group of ten people, and we were all laughing. Actually, there's like no possible way he said that during that. But like, that had to be completely made up. There's no way that man said it twice in his life. 
Also, what was he reading? Like some kind of elvish script language? Like that was some, that was crazy. That was straight out of the Lord of the Rings. He did? You were there? Oh, snap. You were in bed with him? How was it? Did he wear the hat in bed? Was the 70 millimeter different than the normal? I'm, it was crazy. It was huge. It was like unexpectedly large. It was pretty awesome. Post credit scene. JFK post credit. Okay, I didn't stay for that. I guess I missed it. I'll have to go look up a uh, look up the scene on YouTube. Wow. JP underscore I put the rest of our Gatorade in here. Oppie's back. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Did you? Did you see the front row? Oh, Oppenheimer. You need this. Thank you. Did you have fun? Well, yes. It's on camera. Yeah. It was a great time. Flip loves being on camera. That was really nice. Aww. I like him in chat nights. They told me to change your calendar. Oh. Uh, that was never gonna happen every day, let's be real. Who has time to flip those stupid little blocks? It's aesthetic chat. Don't worry. The rest of the Gatorade, there was just one fat chunk, and so I know it's in here somewhere, and I'm scared. It was all stuck together. There was not enough for this amount of water. Stompy stole the grain. What the heck? No, he's blocking it. Is that container big or is my small? This is a really big water bottle, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. This is. How much is it? I forget. Wait, here it is. I can't read it. I can't read it. It's 40 ounces. How much is that? How many of these am I supposed to drink a day if this is 40 ounces? I don't know. It's 1.2 liters. Okay, let's actually, let's figure this out. This is important. Ounces to liters. If this is 40 ounces, it's 1.2 liters. How many liters of water to drink a day? What is going crazy? 2.7 liters for women. So I need to drink like Two and a half of these, maybe three of these a day at Alveus to be like golden. By the way, if I get a tan line from this, I'm gonna lose my mind. Can you imagine? It's so embarrassing. Hilarious. You need more because you're active. Well, you want me to? You want me to drink four of these a day? Connor, how many of these do you think I should drink a day? It's how many are in there? 1.2 liters. Alexa, how many liters are in a gallon? One gallon is about 3.8 liters. Huh? Four? One gallon is 3.8 liters. Two of those, at least. He said two of these at least. I do. Dr I drink two of these when I'm not working outside here yeah, a day. Yeah, that's what you... So if I'm working outside, like, four? I, at that point, just drink when you're thirsty, and, like, when you can. Like, you don't have to hit a certain amount. 
you just like just keep your body hydrated as it's needed. Well, I'm stressed because yesterday I got the worst headache of my life. Was it because you had a lack of water? I, like I, I felt like I drank a lot, but apparently not enough. I mean, headaches aren't just from lack of water. Well, what? Why did I get a headache then? Is it because my neck injury? Could be. Tragedy. People pop, wow. Five for nine months. You need a camelback? Caleb with the C actually wears a camelback here. I like your shoes. Thank you. Guys, tragic news. Um, the P.O. box, they got me these cute little croc charms. But they're for adult crocs. Oh, no. These are, crocs. yeah, and, but the the holes are way smaller than normal Crocs, so they don't fit. They only fit Connor's Crocs. No. Well, I could maybe get adults because these are size three kids. I bet I could get. I bet I could wear adult Crocs. They're not supposed to fit great anyway. Make the holes bigger, but then I have to, I don't want to commit like that and rip up my Crocs. What if I don't want the charms there forever? You just cut a little wow. slit. Night to flush like night tea. Resupped for 51 months. You need to drink water and replace electrolytes too. Pedialyte's Pedialyte disgusting. I refuse. Anyways, another month, another nickel. Another month, another nickel. I put Gatorade powder in here, but we didn't have very much left. But I put the rest of it in here. That's electrolytes. Make the charm smaller? I don't think it's as easy as you think. It's cold in here. It is not cold. Flip's here. cold. I'm cold. Okay. Add Gatorade to the wish list. Uh, it was added. I think Connor put it on there. Powder, yeah. Gatorade powder's added. I think it's already got the purchase. Wicked. I put more of that sunscreen on the wish list. <laughs> I ran out today. Okay. Time to go back out there, guys. Time to go back out there. <sighs> okay. What's next on the schedule? Uh, we're going to clean the parrot aviary um, and clean the chicken coop. And then Kayla and Lindsay are prepping surprises for all the animals. And then we're going to raid into the Alvea's channel and we're going to give all the animals surprises. Does exclamation point surprise still work? Yes. yes. You can do exclamation point surprise right now if you want for a surprise. Um, okay, I gotta pee. Again? Yeah. I just left. I was in there. Oh. Good thing that she's not. Okay, we're back again. This time we're actually back. Okay. Start asking questions. You know the deal. All I see is exclamation point surprise. You guys are super late. Nice shirt. It's exclusive. Maya didn't even get one. At least she, she says she didn't get one. I don't believe that. I think she got one. I think we both got one. I think she just lost hers. Tattoo reveal when? Um, the bottom half is like almost done. Um, this side hasn't been done yet. But then the top half is getting done tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be painful. And then it's going to be stuck under his sleeve for another two weeks while it heals. Can I grow a full beard? Does it look like it? Do you even have to ask that question? Leak one thing on her desktop. Uh, it's the computer screen's off. Too much work. A beardlet? Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Well, my sun and moon rising is 
no shot you actually know. No, I don't. <laughs> I just was joking. I'm a Libra, though. My birthday's coming up in September. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to medieval times. I don't care how I get there. I'm going. Do you know who's not going? Maya, because she's not invited. What car do you drive? A Prius? Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. No Prius for me. Medieval times, yeah. I'm not a fan of the Red Knight. I hate the Red Knight. Red Knight's going down. We're Team Blue Knight. Actually, Team Green Knight. Green Knight's the best. Right, Maya? Yeah. See, she agrees. Green Knight's the best. She's coming with the Medieval Times, right? Oh, my God, dude. It is times. my birthday. Why are you in Medieval Times? September. When? September. Well, you want me to dox myself? They don't know my birthday. They're going to know. They're going to freaking call me old. Don't give them the year. Oh, the year is 1982. Name. Holy shit, really? No. What? Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> oh, no. I told them that I was a Libra, so they know what week of September. All right. Take this back, Oppie. You're a Libra? Oppie? Yes. What's Oppie. What's Oppie? She's wearing the Oppenheimer hat. Uh. Oh, I have the mic. You <laughs> just spray that right in your eyes. It's sunscreen mist. It smells nice. It smells so good. It smells like coconut. Coconut, coconut. Like coconut is a pro. Don't spray above your eyebrows. Brown? What a stupid chat message. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, we need. I'm gonna apply sunscreen again because I'm really scared of getting that tan line now. Oh, the one on your back, the circular one. Mm -hmm. That'd be really funny though. You didn't go on the boat. That's true. Yeah. Why not? I think it was gone. You missed it. David shaved the six pack into his belly. That's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. That's what your tan line reminds me of. Alright. Chat, I didn't go on the boat because I was gone. I don't believe that. I I, I was actually gone. I think I I think I was gone. You were gone. Okay, I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. That's why I didn't that's why I didn't go. <laughs> I couldn't. We're going to, don't shoot my plate, I'm stupid. I never put plate covers on, it's actually so bad. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Bearis era. Oh God, <laughs> scared me. I don't know what you're saying. I can't see because of my hat. <laughs> All right, there's sunscreen in here, standby. Except it's not the fun sun. This is why I put sunscreen on the, like, look at this. Like, I don't want to use, <laughs> 50 SPF for men. What does that even mean? You can't use it. Okay, cringe. But this what? This one smells like not like coconuts. It smells like the aquatic center. It smells like chemicals and death. Connor, are we doing chickens today? That's gotta do it, right? Oh my god, I sprayed the shit out of my shirt. <laughs> That's sad. Oh no, is that bad? Who cares? I do like that hat. Thank you! I got it from the San Diego Zoo! Five since 1,234 is sub for 25 months. Maya looks like a chicken with them chicken legs long. Okay, thank you for the sub. It's a good hat. I know. You know the sick thing about this hat? You guys are gonna shit on me. It's it's a kid's hat, um, so it actually fits my head. 
like it's it's small and like it's snug it like won't fall off i've never had a hat that i can wear that's actually for sun protection that doesn't just fall off or blow off in the wind I got a huge brain though. Don't get it twisted. Thank you for the two months. They didn't, the ghost didn't knock over the wheelbarrow. That's, oh shit, I don't have a spray bottle. Uh, okay, pray that the goats don't fuck with us. It's a training thing. All of us are, have been having spray bottles on us all the time to get the goats to be less cringe. Water cool, thank you for the sub. Tara, thank you for the sub. Dude, that sunscreen smells so bad. It smells like it's bad for you. My stole hat from here, that's not true. I literally purchased it. All right, parrot time. Parrot time. Hello? Hello? Rover 194 subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Leaks flips fuck. Thank you for the. Disaster Cube Rover, thank you for the subs. Those are primes. Hey, if you have a Twitch Prime, by the way, it means you can sub to a streamer for free. Hit, you didn't see it, but look, look at the ground. So I, I gave them, uh, or I made them those egg cartons, the new ones that we got in the P.O. box, the colorful ones, and then I put wood in it, I put these strings in it, I put finger traps with nuts in it. Look at all this. <laughs> Finger traps, I put tissue paper, wrapping paper. This is the macaws boxes. They loved it. They loved it. Did you love it? She's so mad. I made that for you, just so you know. I just want you to understand that. All right, guys. Well. <laughs> Sneakies resubbed for 39 months. 39 months, people. Wow. Thank you for the 39 months. I'm going to save some of this stuff because it can be reused. Did you? <laughs> the best part about cleaning the parrot aviary is when Siren realizes you're in here and not paying attention to it. That's my personal favorite. So anyway, Siren, do you want to come here? Oh look, this is my, there's a bunch of shit on the ground. They went in on the egg cartons. Whoever bought these from the wish list, thank you so much. Siren, did you like your egg carton? Did you like your egg carton? Was there fun stuff in here? This is so fun. I got one that matches you, that's so nice. What do you think? Do you want pet? Hello, birdie. Oh, that's my favorite sound that she makes. Fun fact. Birdie, can I pet you? Can I pet you? Hi. Oh, that's nice. Hi, what you doing? I'm petting you. What do you think? Can I pet you? Zorath! <laughs> Thank you for the tier three. That's one of my other favorite sounds that she does. She goes. Zorath sixty six just subbed tier three for three months. Zora, thank you so much. Sorry, did you do this? Did you do this? That's a lot of stuff to clean up. Hello, that's a lot to clean up. Hmm? 
What you doing? You're crying. Why are you crying? What do you, I'm cleaning. Hi, I'm cleaning. What? Can I take this? Because you ripped it up. You ripped this up. Good job. You did so good. You did so good. Do you want to sing? Do you want to sing? Can you sing? Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Is it funny? Are you leaving? I'm still cleaning. What are you doing? Guys, check out the, the damage. Ouch. This one gets so hot. Ah, oh, here she comes. She's back, everybody. <laughs> she's back and she's growling. What? 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 I don't know what that means. Huh? What? 
What? Do you guys want Siren to have a mic? I'm fine with that. I'm not really saying anything, to be honest. I just don't know if it's gonna get, if it's like boring. If it's just on her the whole time. Hello, birdie. Hello, birdie. Siren. Okay. This is important <laughs> stuff, she's saying. Is that important stuff? Is that important stuff? I forgot. She said, who's me out? I'm right here. That's great. Thank you, Siren. Hello, Birdie. <laughs> Chat, check out Mia's damage on her. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Sconovulus. Happy birthday. She has the attention. She's like over it. She's like, all right, it's enough. Happy birthday for you. Ouch. Chat, check out Mia's damage on her enrichment. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, so. The reason that it sounds like that is because uh, Kayla's been trying to teach Siren sea shanties. So you know the song that goes like, yo, ho, well, like the low one? She's been trying to teach Siren that, but she only knows how to sing happy birthday. <laughs> so she combines both. <laughs> She goes, happy birthday. <laughs> Is that a sea shanty? That's really nice. <laughs> Sorry, do you want me to play it? What's that song called, chat? Let's see. I fr Don't cry. I'm playing it. See Wellerman? Hoist the colors. That sounds right. I think it's this one. Siren! Do you know this song? Happy birthday? <laughs>
So bad. Why do you want this? What is she trying to get? Oh. Don't break the string. It's really good. It's really good. That was really good. Good job. Now, can you sing? Can you sing? Hello. Yo ho. Alright, well, alright. That was good. <laughs> anyway, she sings with Kayla sometimes. Here's the clip of Kayla singing it. Let's see. Kayla would probably hate for me to play. Bits. What if Alvius made birthday cards that have sound and put Siren singing happy birthday in it? That'd be crazy. <laughs> she sings it in the tune of the song, but just says happy birthday. <laughs> What do you guys think? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, Siren. That's pretty good. What do you think? So talented. Anyway, that's what you're hearing. Let's see if Siren continues to go off. Oh, another wood block to save. What? What? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. No. No, probably not today. Not today. No. We just did that yesterday. I know. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe, t no, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Is that okay with you? For the record, I'm, I have no idea what she's saying. I'm just making up because she likes having a conversation. Hi, Mia. What are you doing? How are you today? How are you today? Hello, birdie. She's so cute. Mia likes flip a lot. 
Yep. Right on cue. Siren. We are all swept up. All swept up. So, for cleaning the aviary, we have a few things to do. <laughs> we have a few things to do. Um, that was so good. A sea shanty. A sea shanty. Happy birthday. Yo ho. Um, we're gonna spray down the inside of this enclosure, then we're gonna scrub the floors in there, and then we have to change out all their food and water bowls because they get washed every day. So I like to spray the outside part first because sometimes it needs like two go overs. Um for it to work. So I start there and then I come back and do another pass. It's not what I wanted. Yo ho. <laughs> That's so nice. Clean. Hello, birdie. Birdie. Hello, macaws. The floor is concrete. It's just stained concrete. Hi, Siren. Whoop. Stupid. Siren. Hello, Mama. Hello. 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 And then this tree. Little poop from the littles. I scrubbed, we also scrubbed the branches in here, um, but I did it yesterday, so should not need to do that today. What is the bird made of? I don't understand your question. This is Mia, she's an African gray. She's amazing. That's Siren. She's a blue fronted Amazon. She's amazing. Hello, Birdie. Mm-hmm. She made that sound a lot today. Birdie. <laughs> no. Birdie? 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 Do the birds like being sprinkled? No, unfortunately they don't. And it would be life changing if they did. Hi! Hi! That was Mia. Um, because it's so hot. But they hate water. So sucks for them. All right. All right, first hose done. Now we need, oh, it's not in here. Okay, we'll use F10. Sometimes we have poop off. It's what the cleaner's called. 
What? Um, but I'll just use F10 instead. Look, a siren feather. This is yours. Thank you for whistling. Cool, right? It's yours. It's a wing feather. It's very pretty. Thank you. We saved the feathers. This is actually really interesting. I'm not going to explain this very well. Connor could definitely explain it better. But um, we saved the feathers uh, because we can do cortisol testing. Um, because the feather grows up in bands, and we can test the bands for cortisol levels. And that way we can literally quantitatively say how happy, not happy, how stressed our birds are in captivity. And like if there are certain periods of time where the bands have higher levels of cortisol, we know that they're more stressed at that time. So we want like the lowest levels of cortisol possible. Uh, it's important, especially being online with animals in captivity, to be, ab to be able to give people concrete, like, no, this bird is happier than a wild bird would be. Hi. Not happier than a wild bird would be. Wild birds are always going to be happier than captive birds. Um, but, you know, that we're doing the best that we can and that this bird is, you know, has a good enough quality of life to still remain in captivity and still being euthanized. Oh, we cannot do that out of this. We definitely have to send that somewhere. Okay, now the harder part. The call room. Uh, oh, I need to sweep in here. Another reminder, if you think you want macaws, no you don't. Look at the two by four in there. That was like pretty recently installed. But the macaw said no. <laughs> We're gonna have to reinstall it because they're gonna break it. Evo. Do do do. Never do we don't. Yo ho. The macaws are coming. Wait, oh shit. Before the macaws come. They wouldn't let me change this yesterday because they were so mad that I was in here. Now we'll take it out. Hi, Siren. I did not mean to throw that. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was an accident. Are you guys enjoying yourselves? Bird poop, bird poop. Do 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 do. Bump 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 birds are stressed it's probably siren's fault i can confidently say i would not want siren as my neighbor or in my house we're talking about you Do you want me to put the mic over there? Do you guys want me to mic up Siren? I can if you want, I don't mind. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. 
Bird poop, bird poop. Dee, 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 dee. Scholabulous donated five dollars. Good one, Sam. Thank you, Scornabulous. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Anyway. Okay. New McCall water. Then we gotta change the Littles water as well. Because done. Littles. She just really loves birthdays. For the first time. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Birthday for you. Okay. Who's petting you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Macaw water. Macaws recently had to uh, switch to metal water bowls. because they chew through the plastic ones. Okay, very cool guys, very cool. And the little still can have plastic ones. Here we go. It's okay. All right, one more spray down. Never till we die, yo ho. Okay. Spray down number two. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. What are you doing? Thank you for the sub. Oh, siren. Thank you, Blade. I know it's really cute when I go over there and she's like, birthday. I know, I know that's cute, but uh, can you imagine how annoying it would be all the time? So I, people see videos online and they're like, oh my God, I want a parrot so bad. They're so cute and so funny. But like, 
in your house all the time would just be, it, it's, just, it's just too much. And then people get sick of it, and then birds end up in rescues. But still, because of how cute and funny they are, uh, the demand for pet parrots is pretty high. Um, so high that uh, it's led to the collapse of a lot of wild species of parrots, like Mia, our African Grey. Um, their species is endangered. One of those reasons is because they're captured out of the wild to be sold as pets. Because people know they're super smart and they can talk and they can sing. Um, and people don't know that they can bite really hard and chew through wood and scream all day without getting tired. I'm telling you, I worked at a parrot sanctuary for a summer, and I worked in the parrot rooms where they were inside at night, and I legit was scared that I was gonna like enter psychosis or something, because they just never stop. And you feel like you're losing your mind. I cannot imagine having that in my home. I, there'd just be no peace ever. Hi, Birdie. <laughs> Same with like, uh, when I worked in wildlife rehab, when you feed baby birds, baby birds are just constantly screaming and I was like, I am going to lose my mind in here, this is it. But Mia's nice. She nice. Siren, you're nice too. Water. Clean water for you. Oh yeah, and they live 60 to 70. These guys live 50 to 60 years. The macaws live 60 to 70 years. We don't know how old um, they are because they're all rescues. Mia was a pet surrender. She named herself, actually. One of the girls in a family that she used to live with, her name was Mia. And she was Mia's bird, and so she would start calling herself Mia Bird. <laughs> um, and so that's why her name is Mia. But she was surrendered. She kept flying away from home. She's flighted. Uh, and I, they just got to a point where they couldn't take care of her, or the kid went to college, I don't know. Um, she actually learned her old owner's phone number, apparently, so that when she flew away, she could be returned. But luckily, she has yet to dox her old owner. I was genuinely really worried about that. Then over here, these two macaws, Tico and Miley, both pet surrenders as well. Um, Tico, the one who looks really mad uh, and is more blue, is, uh, was dropped off in a box outside of an SPCA. And Miley is a Catalina macaw. She was born in captivity. She's a hybrid macaw. Um, and she uh, was a pet surrender as well. She was, she was surrendered to a bird rescue in California. They are both female, they are pair bonded. Yeah, that's why people are saying gauge. Hello, birdie. Hello, birdie. Yes, okay. All right, a couple more things. I need to change um, this macabre, but I'm scared. Thank you for gifting. Birthday, 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 birthday. Peace. All right, another bit of a risk here. Can I have that? Can I just put this in here? Without you ripping my hand off? All right. Oops. 
Someone's going to put that on later. You'll notice we have two saw horses in here. These, these two things. Um, Kayla has been working on training the macaws to fly, which based on what you just saw is like potentially really terrifying. Um, but we start with like perch to perch until it gets to a point where they can't reach across and they kind of have to do a hop and then we keep spreading them out and then eventually they, they fly. Uh, I think they're doing pretty good. Kayla's been going pretty hard with them. So I just noticed cause she's been training there. There's like a ton of nuts on the ground that I didn't get. Thank you for the bits. All right. Sharon, what do you think? walk away when they start being cringe and when, when I say they I mean siren solely that is all I mean hello he's a goat you guys want to see peewee that's tripper Tripper got her name because she's a yearling, but my neighbor was gonna sell her for meat because he didn't wanna use her to breed because she never got tall enough. Um, and so when you go, and she's really friendly for some reason, even though she's a meat goat. And so when you went in the pen, uh, she would weave between your legs and trip you. So that's why he called her tr Little Tripper. And I just kept her name. Pee Wee, Pee Wee, come here. Pee, Pee Wee, uh, was a um, orphan baby, also a meat goat, uh, and was gonna be sold for meat because he's the same problem. He's just like a runt. Um, and he only keeps a couple males for breeding and uh, the rest get shipped off, so. Yeah. Peter said no one left. The chickens. <laughs> Birthday. We'll have you guys know. This is one of my least and favorite, least favorite enclosures to clean. Fun fact. Chickens are really gross. 
Don't leave. You know what? You can leave. A little chicken walk for Nugget. Don't worry about Siren. Where's she going? <laughs> Should we let the others out? Because she's out. Are you confused? Do you already want to come back? You can come back if you want. <laughs> okay, or we can let the rest out. You going to the front door already? Come here, Nugget. Chickens, you want a little walk, walkie walk? We let the chickens out, but they don't, um, they don't stay out for very long because it's so hot. They're just like immediately over it and they go back in. all over. And that's Henrique. <laughs> Out and about. Enrichment time for the chickens. Um, for those of you who weren't here earlier, when I was saying the plan for today, this is the last enclosure we're cleaning. Um, and then Kayla and Lindsay have prepared surprises for the animals. I don't even know what they are yet. Um, they're doing surprises. And then uh, I'm going to raid into Alveus. So same stream, different channel. Um, and we're going to give all the animals their surprises on the Alveus stream. Ah, 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 ah. You want to come in the shade, pal? I don't get how you do that in long sleeves. Huh? I saw that on TikTok. Yeah. This is just spot cleaning. Um, we're running low on substrate. I don't know if you saw all the bags when you walked in, but... Uh, Connor and I are adding more pea gravel and mulch to this enclosure, I think, today. Um, for them. The chickens do lay eggs. The girls do, anyway. Oliver doesn't. There the chickens are. They found one shady strip. <laughs> to forage. <laughs> Siren singing a sea shanty. I think my chat died. Oh, never mind. You're just slow. I don't need to use this. I've done. I've done, I've done. The chicken floors are the same as the parrot floors. It's flex seal. And we just clean. Except chicken poop is just like so much grosser than parrot poop for some reason. It smells worse and it just is like more liquidy. Um, so I'm not a fan of, of cleaning the chickens, to be honest. But sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do, you know what I mean? How's the bumblefoot going? It's good, the chickens are getting Epsom salt soaks twice a day uh, because they have some bumblefoot problems. Um, 
which is like sores on their feet. And we think it's because they spend so much time in their little pool because it's so hot. Uh, so they're getting soaks to help their feet get better. All right. All right. One more switch. Let me see if Connor can bring that ramp down. Can. Can someone bring the ramp down? Okay. No more swimming for the chickens. I found an Oliver feather. You guys want to see it? It's a little different from parrot feathers. <laughs> Tail feather? Cool. Floppy. Okay. That there. This here. This here. Chickens, they're still there. You guys want to go back? Oh, okay. Sorry. Never mind. Hello. We need to put the dirty chicken bowls in here. Oh, they're going back. You guys ready? Is it hot outside? <laughs> they're like, <laughs> what happened to the door? <laughs> yeah, there's gravel in front of it now. Weird, huh? Good chickens. It's so nice, thank you. Jello pudding, thank you for the subs. Are the chickens ambassadors? They are, yeah. Um, originally, we got Nugget first as like the only chicken and it was like kind of a, Mia's owner thought that they were pair bonded and so she was like, you have to take the chicken. And I was like, oh, okay. But I didn't think that they would make good ambassadors. Turns out it's very cool to be able to teach people about uh, food labels and the products that they're buying and the impact that that has on the planet. And so for the chickens, we talk about egg labels. Jello um, just gifted 10 tier one thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you for the 10. So if you're looking for eggs in the grocery store, in the US anyway, um, you wanna look for a certified humane label. That's, that's our favorite label here. Um, it's not like a guarantee, but it at least means, certified humane pasture raised eggs, it at least means that uh, the chickens were actually outside, like they just were. All the cage free and free range labels are kind of bullshit. Good God, I hate this hose nozzle. Nugget, you thirsty? A little bit. Are you bathing? She's trying to take a dust bath, but it's muddy. I would miss you if you liked it, but you hate it. People talk wow. I really want to. Couch duck resubbed for nine I hate months. It. Thank you for the nine months. All right. Um, let's go dump that wheelbarrow. 
so fun. I'm so excited. Also, when it comes to meat choices overall, generally speaking, the less meat you consume, the better. Um, especially if it's not traceable meat. That's not just from an animal welfare perspective, it's also from an environmental perspective. But if you are gonna consume meat from an environmental perspective, uh, the one with the least emissions, that's the easiest, like the most readily available is poultry. Um, and I say that because I do discourage people from eating beef because it is detrimental to the environment. No, run, Pee-wee! Run! <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Oh, you think? I, it's going to be an awkward angle. All right, we'll see. It's easy to move, though. All right. Pee-wee has the dumbest little run. Don't say that. He's doing his best, that's all that matters. <laughs> all right. So Connor was just saying that I asked him to bring the dumpster up, or the, not the, to bring the ramp down for the dumpster because Nate donated a ramp for the dumpster, but Connor said it's gonna be really awkward. So we'll see if I use it or not. Oh yeah, that is really awkward. They back the dumpster up closer to the fence than normal. So this might not be doable. Ah, uh, maybe, let's see. It does fit there. Um, bit right? Yeah, it happens um, when we get down here. All right. Ow! Just hit my hand in the fence. No, this, I don't know if this, I don't think this is easier at all. Um, okay. Without the angle piece, that would be great. Like if the dumpster was farther forward, I think that would be fine. But I don't know. Did. Chaotic, thank you for the sub. All right. Well. Well, maybe for the next dumpster, it'll be better. Okay, now time to just walk all the way back up the hill. It's getting close to that time, you guys. Animal surprises are coming up. Alvea streams coming up. People bog. Thank you for the 32 months. Hi. Hello, chicken. My head's starting to hurt again. Thank you for the 24 months. I already said thank you, Saren. I need to grab that pitchfork. Sammy Lice Dignus? Wow. Dignitate, Dignitate, slide, jacket, time. Jake.
Thank you guys for the subs. Okay. Goodbye, Siren. <laughs> Bye, Oliver. Thank you for the four months. Look at the Saro! What's he doing? Little guys, thank you so much. Fudgie! You enjoying your snacks? Look, he's so cute. I would swing up there right now if I wasn't fucking dying, but I am dying, <laughs> so it's not the time. It's not the time. <sighs> Basket. I'm it's not happening. We gotta drive down there to get it later. Why don't you ride the horse where you need to go? Cause I gotta carry shit and I have a cameraman anyway. Okay. Check out our new patented invention, the anti-goat car hood. It's just bird spikes, they're flexible, don't worry. But it does work. too close to the, the fence. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's the dumpster. It's backed up more than normal. I tried pulling up the truck, but only got six inches. <sighs> Maya and Flip on, and a camera on the horse. That would not work. <laughs> it's simply not work. Can I get you to sign this? Right now? Yeah. You think that's a good idea? Great idea. How about we do it another time? How about we do it another time? You got it. It's so easy. <sighs> that was stupid. Thank you. So your water, man. This one from your phone. Uh, your water. Now I can mail it and be done. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> now Connor owns Elvis. Jello, guys, do you all know about the 24 hour merch shop? The night mode merch, could you put it on screen by chance? Or do I have to do that? Guys, there's night mode merch. It's available for 24 hours only, only until 6 p.m. today. Wow. Disruptive. Gluteus, thank you. Thank you for the Prime. If you have a Twitch Prime, you can go get it to Alves if you want. There's no shipping to Mexico. What the heck? Sorry.
Thank you for buying the merch before. Yeah, no, that's fine if you don't if you don't buy more. Um, the first merch drop was crazy. Um, they just they just thank you so much, Space. Um, they just made this shirt, so we were like, oh, we'll drop it for 24 hours because it'll be fun. So if you want to do command merch or command surprise, um, then you can see it. Then you can get yourself some night mode merch, but it's only available until 6 p.m. today. I'm still mad at you about the swan question or the crane question. Why? You can't. You cannot just say crane. There's so many types of cranes. That's crazy. And there's fox, chlorophyll, chloroplast. That one was splitting hairs, but everything else was fine. Um. Okay, guys, check out the merch. If you want some merch, please, please, uh, please do. It's pretty sick, pretty sweet. Um, and the next merch drop is in September, by the way, which is coming up, like, so fast. Uh, and it's time to give the animals surprises. So let's start the raid. And then let's go see what uh, Kayla and Lindsay have prepared as surprises for the animals. Flip, how are you doing? Oh, you know. Just like are you anemic? Mm -hmm. Is that just because I said Kayla was my favorite all day? Thank you for the you. three months. What? Yeah. Monarch, thank you. There's a lot of hate there now. Um. <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, don't go anywhere. The stream's the same. We're just raiding into the Alveas channel. So we're going to give all the animal surprises on the Alveas channel. Don't move. Join the raid. Don't say Drake great stream like it's over. we got to stop making it seem like a big deal. Don't say good stream. Don't say it. Thank you, though. <laughs> Leo underscore X7 was up for four months. Less than three. So just stay here. Stay here. All right, you guys are really ruining it. Chat, you're ruining it. Trying to make it not a big deal. You're making it a big deal. It's not making it a big deal. We're not going anywhere. Half of the keeping stream is on my channel now. The other half is on Ovis. Same stream, different channel. I want to go swimming. Right. Is it switched? No. Oh, it's on both. Alvaez channel. Alvaez channel. Alvaez channel. Hello! Everybody. Hello. It is switched. It is switched. Echo asked you how the IMAX was. Hmm? They asked how IMAX was. Was good? He said it was good. It's crazy. All right, guest star thingy. Yeah, I'll just, uh... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. Another notification. Okay. We gotta what? He's back. He's back. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> Sorry. What's going on? Oh yeah, that's very comfy. We gotta go back out there, flip. You're still alive on your main? Go to Alveus right now. They get to 20 subs. Chlorbin, what the heck? How many did Chlorbin gift? What the heck? 50? 
Corbin gifted 50 subs. Nate gifted 20 subs. Nick just got 100. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is so sick. Oh my god, Maya raided. Thank you, Maya. It's crazy. Double raid. Are you guys ready for the surprises? I'm excited. I went in there, they're like, we're trying to make them as interesting as possible. And I was like, you, you just do whatever, honestly, it's fine. But they're trying to make them fun, so we'll see. Whispering, thank you. Okay, all right. Let's switch to, let's switch to the Alveus chat. All right. Yeah, you can change it to keeping stream with Maya. Oh, Peter, thank you. That works too. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. Okay. Ready? Okay. There we go. All right, guys. Let's go see the surprises. Hooray. How hot is it? Like 100, I think. I don't know. Gifted a tier one sub to Stella. Corbin, thank you. Clubbit gifted by your subscription. Clubbit gifted a tier one sub to be. Thank you. 3K! That's so crazy. <laughs> Is it really doing this? Crazy. God, Brian. All right. Well, alerts are muted now. Hello. Oh. You guys want to see a little rat sesh? <laughs> okay. You want to see a little rat? <laughs> okay. What is this? Fun. Impeccables. Funny. Okay, so who's for what? This? Parrots. Parrots? Are these for the littles? Okay. Fun. Wow. Parrots, um, is this mar marms. marms? This is for foxes. I'll bring, we can bring this out later. These are okay. crows. These are foxes. Crows, foxes. These are chickens. We can chickens. take care of the chickens later. Okay. So fair. I'll let them out today too, but they were out for like two seconds. It's hot. It's okay. Hot. Chat, what do you want to see first? Do you want to see crows, marms, foxes, or parrots? yeah we should try to put that cover on it and see yeah, if it does yeah. any good sure. they all said marms all right marms it is we'll bring marms and crow stuff out so we'll do them back to back thank you guys all right okay marms 100 percent. you know my main channel didn't get to see the marms at all today You were here, Pog. Or the foxes. Or the crows. Imagine. Imagine not being able to see the marms or the foxes or the crows. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me because I'm an Alveus viewer. Sorry, Flip was covering his arm because he'll melt if he gets sun on his tattoo. 
Will your skin melt off? I explained this to you. I don't remember. I, no, you explained that you can't get sunburned before you get a tattoo. What happens if you sunburn your new tattoo? Then it'll just like make the colors fade quicker. Oh. But like you've got to go over the tattoo in order to add detail to it. What? So I can't sunburn the tattoo. That tattoo isn't done? Nope. There's not detail in it. It's just like base color. Have you know the base coat for paint? Yeah, it doesn't look like that. It looks done. Bit right. Bit right, bit right. <sighs> well, I'm set. You know what I would love? I would love to give this stuff to them inside. Imagine. Imagine the stream works in there. I thought we did too, but who knows? You never know. Let's test it, shall we? Crows, this is crows. It does work inside. Damn it, where did I leave the keys? Fuck! Why are there keys in here? There's always keys in here. Ah! I hate my life. Marms, a gift for you. Momo, Papa, this for you. There's gel diet in there, and there's produce in there. And this is also for them, and it's just gel diet. He got a little bit. What did you name the banana plant again? Banan? How can you tell them apart? Um, Appa is a common marmoset. He has white tufts. And Momo is a black tufted marmoset. He has black tufts. But they also just look and act super different. Is it too hard? No. You can do it. Good job. You're a genius. Look at all that. He's done it. What is that? Apple. Yummy. He got an apple. <laughs> He's a genius. Oppo or Momo went inside because it's hot. That's not, is that? There's a little bit of gel diet and canned food diet. He likes the gel diet more. Momo just got canned diet. There's gel diet on the other side. Okay, we'll just eat that. Can you hear them eating? You've got to find another one. Momo's a little in the way. He doesn't, I don't think he knows that he's in the way. Oh. Oh. <gasps> he's a genius. What's in that one? Oh, is it just lettuce? You don't want lettuce. Only apple. Momo, you <laughs> <laughs> Move, now you can do it. Good job. Good job, buddy.
Yes, he's a genius. Does anybody not know... You know what, I'm just gonna say it anyway. If anybody doesn't know the story of these guys, Appa is a common marmoset. They are from Brazil. But he has never seen or been to Brazil uh, because he was bred in captivity for the pet trade. And we got him and Momo from a neglect situation in Austin. Someone bought them thinking they could have them as pets and did not know how to take care of them. And so they had metabolic bone disease, dental disease, they were malnourished. Uh, Appa could barely use his back legs. He had like very little mobility in his back legs. Now you can't tell because he moves like a normal marmoset should. Um, but they just had so many husbandry issues that they were, they were very sick. Momo has had more than half of his teeth removed. Um, I don't know if you can, you probably won't be able to see it. <laughs> it's a lot of food, bud. Um, but he's had over half his teeth removed because of dental disease, because of improper diet. And so we got them as rescues. We rehabbed them for like six months before we even showed them on stream. And this is their first time having an outdoor enclosure where they can actually be outside and not in a cage in a house. So they've adapted beautifully. I think they love it. I think they're much happier now. Definitely much healthier. Um, and we have them as ambassadors for the exotic pet trade. Um, the internet's cool because you guys can see these animals up close like this and you can learn about them, but also it makes people want them as pets. Um, and so they go say like, oh, I want a little monkey. They're so cute. They're so funny. And then they go and buy them. If you see people selling wildlife or wildlife products online, you can report it to, uh, there's actually a link in my bio. There really is though. Uh, World Wildlife Fund has an end online wildlife trafficking coalition. And um, I put that report link in my bio. You can also do command report in this chat. That's in my bio on, on like Twitter and Instagram. It's all the same one. It's like a bio link. So yeah, you can go snitch on people selling wildlife, because that's cringe. And wildlife products. Ivory, raccoon, baculums. Furs. It is only for the states at the moment, unfortunately. I think. I mean, if it's content that's outside of the states, I think you can still report it, I just don't know. Raccoon what? Um, people use raccoon baculum. It's, it's a bone in a penis. Bone in a raccoon penis. They use them for, they sell them for like jewelry and earrings and toothpicks and stuff. Hammy, I don't understand your question. Is that, are you saying like, can I say you can go get one because I'm certified to take care of them? It's like, if I have a pilot license, can I go, should I go tell other people like, yeah, you can fly a plane. I can. <laughs> Is that what you mean? I'm confused. They like sitting in the door because they have AC inside and it's very freaking hot. Okay, the other marmoset enrichment that we have over here is um, a Kong toy. And uh, there's gel dye it's smeared inside and like a little cardboard piece that they have to shift around um, to get it. So we're gonna hang this up. Where's a good spot for the can maybe here? Is this a good spot for the can though? No. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm gonna put it here. For later. Are you okay to say that someone can get one as a pet if they have the licensing? No, I don't think these should be pets anywhere, regardless of if you have a permit or not. Uh, in Texas, you don't need a permit to have these as a pet. Does that mean you can have one or should have one? Absolutely not. 
it's not about licensing. It's it's an ethical issue, you know. Um, just some animals are not meant to be pets. All right, guys. We're gonna go get the crow's food. Enjoy your enjoy your treat. Goodbye. The crows are ready. Ready. You're telling me that when we get a driver's license, we can get a car, but if we can't, if we get a monkey license, we can't get a monkey? Hammy, are you okay? You, you're here all the time. What are you talking about? No, you can't get a fucking monkey, dude. It's not about the, it's not about the license. I already said that though, so I don't know why I'm saying it again. Hi, crows. Saved. It's hard to convey. What is there to convey? I don't really know what's like, what is missing from that. I don't know what to say other than like, it. it's it's not, like legal bounds don't define what is ethical. Um, you know, we could have a, a three foot by two foot cage and put the foxes in it and then kill them for fur. I could do that. I could do that legally, you know, as a, with a fur propagation permit. Does that mean it's something that I should be allowed to do? Absolutely not. Um, it's, it's the same thing with, with having permits for pets that are wild animals. It's not fair to steal wildness from wild animals. <coughs> oh, I see. No, that's okay. Um, the, yes, so, I've been, I've been, I've seen you put that message in a couple times, and honestly, I've been avoiding uh, responding to it because I feel really bad. We did get your super generous donation of peanuts and figs, but unfortunately, we don't feed out peanuts here, really. Um, we give them sometimes to the crows, um, but there is a disease that peanuts are prone to that's really dangerous for birds, so we don't give our parrots any peanuts. Um, and so we don't feed them out very often. Um, so we have a ton of peanuts from you. Um, and then the figs also, um, because they're like half dried, they came real like, and cause it's Texas and it's hot in the transport, they came really like mushy um, and uh, slimy, <laughs> um, it, which didn't seem right. And, and we don't fit, we fig, feed figs out very much here as well. Um, the staff was snacking on the figs at Volunteer Day. Volunteers were snacking on the figs. Um, and we use the peanuts 
sometimes for crows, uh, I think the foxes maybe be able to get peanuts sometimes, maybe the chickens sometimes, but treats that the animals always eat, uh, or that a lot of our animals eat, pistachios is a really safe one. We already have a bunch of those though, so we don't need any more right now. Um, they like walnuts and almonds in shell. Not all these things with no uh, salts. Um, and we have, but we have like all the treats in the world right now. Because <laughs> people give so much to the P.O. box. But thank you so much. I, I do really appreciate it. Pill pockets? Are you good on pill pockets? Actually, we're, we just ran out. No, we're not out. We're not out. We're not out. We have so many pill pockets, please. Brazil nuts, I would have to research. I think that parrots can have Brazil nuts. But I don't know. They do last, pill pockets do last a really long time. I was hoping coconut would get that one. Abbott's just taking out all the veggies and throwing them on the ground. <laughs> you excited to go to Legoland? Did we hit? Huh? We're 50 patrons away from going to Legoland. Where's the trash TV? Dude, I'm gonna explain this to you in way more information than you want or need. So we were supposed to do it two nights ago when we recorded the YouTube app. We didn't start filming until 10 p.m. So we weren't done filming until like past 11. And then I was like, I, I can't, like I can't do a trash TV up today. And then yesterday we were gonna try to film in the morning and then cutie couldn't film in the morning before jeopardy and then after jeopardy cutie was like we could film late again at like 10 p.m or something and i was like i can't after jeopardy like i cannot do trash tv tonight and so we have scheduled for today filming it today at 6 p.m our time so hopefully that gets done Could any of the animals eat coconut from the shell? Also a thing I would have to research. I don't know. I bet the crows, I don't know if they could get in it though. Like we'd have to crack it open. I don't know if they would like it, but they, they could probably eat it. The chickens could probably eat coconut. I don't know about the parrots, foxes, you know, whatever. We have to look up like every new food that we feed them. No, not coconut the bird, coconut the, the, Fruit? What's a coconut? Fruit. The fruit. Is giving snack toys to the animals help them with mental state in some way? Um, yes, uh, this is enrichment. So enrichment is like toys and special items and new things that we give them uh, to keep them Um, to keep them stimulated, stimulated in captivity. Uh, so to practice natural behaviors, this one, a lot of the enrichment that we do is foraging behavior. Um, so just having to forage for their food, crows will do that in the wild. And so it's good for them to be able to do that in captivity. Uh, the crows keeping their beaks open is for temperature regulation. They're hot. It's kind of like a dog.
what other ambassador are you planning on giving or getting? Um, we have, well, I can't, we, we've had one that's been in the work since February. Uh, <laughs> and so I don't know if that one's going to go through. I haven't, we, nobody's leaked it, I don't think. Um, but permitting's hard. Um, we want to do a rosehair tarantula. Um, so I, I definitely want to do a tarantula for the, uh, for the invertebrate program. Um, what else? We would love to do lemurs eventually. Um, because conservation of Madagascar is really interesting. Um... I don't think we would do a gator. We've we've been offered gators before. We've talked about gators before, but the reality of a gator is they can get like six, seven feet long, right? And so, uh, the liability that comes with an animal that size, when none of us really have experience training, I think some of us, including me, have experience caring for gators. Uh, but if a gator developed like a behavioral issue with biting or being territorial or like snapping at people, we wouldn't know how to address that. Um, and it would be really, really bad, you know, and potentially life threatening. And so that's, that's why we've, we've thought it would be irresponsible to get a gator and why we, we haven't done that. We want to do a tortoise. Um, we do want to do a tortoise. Can you get a monkey? We have two monkeys already. We won't do any more monkeys. I don't want to go any bigger. Appa, a couple weeks ago, jumped on Lindsay's shoulder, was just hanging out, and then chomped her face. And that's, it's not fine, but, like, it's fine because Appa's size, and he's got a little tiny mouth, and, like, you know, they break skin, but it's not the end of the world. It just, like, hurts. Uh, but if we had a monkey that was even, you know, like a macaque or, like, a, a capuchin or something that, it, it just rips your face off. You know, primates are really hard, and, and monkeys can be really scary. Uh, and can bite, so, yeah. Does that happen on cams? No, I don't think so. Tromped her face, Every everyone's good, yeah. Appa um, bit Lindsay twice in the cheek last couple weeks ago. We do want to do a bird of prey. We want to do a vulture. Big reason they're not good pets. Yeah. Um, uh, we, there was a, a pigtail macaque at the last zoo that I worked at. And she was surrendered to the zoo because someone bought her as a pet. And she bit his nose off. So pretty much the same situation as Appa, except she's a larger monkey and is capable of that. She bit his, like, entire nose clean off his face. Um, and so he was surrendered to the zoo. Um, it was definitely usable, Ben. Thank you. People were snacking on it. Turka ate a bunch of the figs. <laughs> um, and then at the zoo, she, she threw me to the ground by my ponytail. She, like, grabbed my ponytail. I wasn't even tree contact. I was walking past her enclosure, but she can reach out. And she, she grabbed my ponytail and threw me on the ground. They're very strong, way stronger than they look. So we won't go any bigger for, uh, than our primates for that reason. We also want to do a saltwater reef tank because talking about ocean conservation is very, very important. I think we could do a really good underwater cam, and you guys could name the fish or whatever is in there. Um, and I think that could be really cool. There's so much to talk about with the oceans, and so... Um, that's moving up on my priority list for sure. Um, I would love to do that. And Caleb with a C and Lindsay. Um, Caleb with a C, he used to be into the, the reef tank thing. He used to have his own, and it's one of his, like, hobbies. So he knows a lot about them. Um, and then Lindsay is, obviously, she's getting her master's in the conservation of marine predators. So she's all about the ocean. And so I think she'd be really great for that.
W Lindsay. Lindsay's great. I, I loved it was really nice yesterday having them all on stream so you guys could like see more of them in a not just like keeper context, you know. Um Lindsay's really funny. <laughs> I think you guys are gonna like her a lot. Are you gonna get Lindsay a shark? No. We can't have a shark. Kayla was really nervous. Regular Alves game night would be awesome. Yeah, I think it would be really fun. I think I'm down for that. Space is down for that. Connor's down for that. Um, I don't know that the girls are always down for that. <laughs> like, I don't think they want to stay here all day when they're working outside all day. But we could do it with some people, not all people. All right. You going to have fun and keep picking at that and let Coconut come down and get the other one? Send Lindsay a shark in the P.O. box. That would be really sweet, actually. Um, I think she would think it was really cool, even if it was just like a stupid little, not a real shark. If you sent her like a little shark stuffed animal or something, I was like, Lindsay, they got this for you. That'd be sick. Okay. Um, get Kayla a vulture and get Ella a plant and get Connor. Don't send a dildo. Do not send a dildo in the P.O. box. It's a ban. Game shows could be a nice way to do some streamer collabs. Pass. <laughs> I'm good. Fifteen sharks. Wait, don't everybody send don't you guys don't all need to send sharks. <laughs> Please. But it does make Connor really happy when he gets special stuff in the P.O. box. So you guys are welcome to do that for the other staff if you want. For Flip. I told Flip that people got him the talkies and he didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so he loves it. <laughs> He's really excited about it. No more cowbells. No more pill pockets. No more bleach. We're done. That's it. All right, we're gonna do parrot enrichment. I gotta pee. We go get water. We're gonna, oh, the foxes too. Shit. All right, we're gonna take the UTV. Getting water, peach, UTV, foxes, parrots. I don't need a Red Bull anymore, I feel fine. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Hello. What are you doing? Getting ready to go work on chickens. Oh, you're taking the UTV? Yeah, I can do trucks. Okay. Let me get the stuff out of the back of the UTV. What? Let me get the stuff out of the back of the UTV. Oh, don't do that. That's fine. It's super quick and easy. No, it's not. I saw all the stuff back there. There's a lot of stuff back there. We can drive too. Not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Okay. She just gave me this with no chat, so I'm just going to talk to you guys. <laughs> Okay, what do we go look at? What do you guys want to see? What if I don't want to go look at anything? Hi, how's everybody doing? Oh, I don't have anything like a shark or anything like that that you can like send me. I'm just going to hold this this way. It's going to be real shaky because I'm holding it with my hand and it's like very far. You only put your earbuds in during flip time. I actually have earbuds in. I listen to music the whole time that we're out here, and I just don't tell Maya. See? And so that's why every time she talks, I always need her to repeat herself. Because then I pause it. 
and then I listen. <laughs> Any gear that would help, all of it. Every piece of gear humanly possible. Cam operator has a face, nope. You just ruined it for everybody, good job. How does the camera not overheat seriously? It does, it used to. Um, we had to put on the high temperature setting for the camera even though it makes it like die quicker. So, yeah, I don't even know what you guys are looking at but you're stuck looking at it. You could thank that one chatter. What am I listening to? Uh oh, here comes Maya. I've been on a new wave kick. So I really like the B-52s, Pylon, Gang of Four, maybe. <laughs> here you go. Well, they, they, they got their base permissions taken away because they said something. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Chad, why'd you do that? <laughs> Imagine if I took my face permissions away because someone said something weird. <laughs> None of us would be here right now. None of us. Okay. <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> She's. Guys, this is not 40 inches. yeah, the ball is not 40 inches. The cover's too big. Look. It did say, the ball did say it was 40 inches. The ball say 40, but something's it not say about. 40, so. Well, the ball is too big. This year is too large. <laughs> something is wrong. She's doing great. You guys. for the scorpions. Okay, yay. Fun. Um, their temperature range is supposed to be like 78 to 90. Like a hot window still to put them in. Yeah. Well, that room gets treated. What else is? Also should be quite high. So these. Then. Okay. Guys, do you want um, foxes or parrots next? Those are the last. Those are the two we're doing. They said foxes. Okay. Thank you. Foxes. All right, fox time. Connor actually is transferring everything from the UTV. I don't know why. Okay, age. The other tough thing about keeping streams is like, I don't know how I did it before. I was just like, built different or something. But, thank you! Um, but, because it starts at 11 a.m., um, I eat in the morning, but then like, I don't, I actually, I did used to sit and eat lunch on my keeping streams. The ones that were like fucking eight hours long. Um, I did sit down and eat. But, cause the, these are like shorter. I don't know, it's just like, nobody takes a lunch break until like four o'clock or something. Um, which, and then I just get like so drained towards the end of it. Gates closing. No, goats. Mayo, your singing streams, please. Look, I do really like doing people candles every once in a while, but what I have learned over my streaming career is there's something about the access given where they can see your face and the way you react to what chat is typing. Keeping These are like easy because I can just like half look at my phone, do something else and just pretend like I don't see 90% of the shit that I see or like I actually don't see it. Um, and so it just doesn't matter and it's way less toxic. But desktops can be really toxic. It's too much access. I don't want you looking at me like that. Just look at the animals, you know? Hi, Finn. 
I have something for you. I have something for you and Reed. What's in there? He sniffers. He sniffed. He smells. He knows. Where should I put it? Should I put it here? That's too high. Maybe I can put it here. <laughs> they go, buddy. Whoa. What's in there? <laughs> so in those bottles, there's pill pockets and uh, dried salmon skin. That's just a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, buddy. Oh, there's egg in there, too. Oh, <gasps> pill pocket. Yum. I don't know about Reed. I don't think he, he's never seen me in this hat. enriched okay actually um i know you guys want to watch him do this but i also want reed to have a chance at the other bottle so actually maybe i can just move this to reed hold maybe you can watch him reed if i come give this to you are you gonna freak out hi bud it's okay it's okay it's for you See what he does with that. If he does anything with that. Oh, he's in there. Saved. He's so brave. He's not afraid, he is well behaved. I'm a guest star arriver, hooray, welcome. Does he have to bite to open the bottle? No, they won't bite through that uh, plastic. They and just move it around to get it out. Oh, that's nice, Ashley, thank you. Welcome to the Alvea stream. Welcome to the animal stuff. I feel like this is a dumb question. Why isn't Finn red? Aren't American foxes red? Um, not a dumb question at all. They are both American red foxes, but Finn is a different color because he was bred for the pet trade. He was an illegal pet trade confiscation from California. So he was bred in captivity and they breed them to be all different colors in the pet trade. You know what's funny is that they breed them just to look more like dogs, if I'm being honest. They like the silver foxes, they like piebald foxes, they like white foxes, uh, anything but red. <laughs> just like, what a fox is, they just want a dog. Um, but you know, that's a learning curve. It's maybe beyond people that want exotic animals as pets. So that's why he's, that's why he's gray, is because he was bred for the pet trade. Yes, just get a dog. That, that is the, the takeaway. 
it's funny, they did that experiment in Russia, right, where they were trying to domesticate foxes, and they're like, this is amazing, we've domesticated the fox, and it's like, we can teach them to sit now. They're born and they're not afraid of people. We can take them out on a leash. Their ears are getting floppy. They're piebald. They're white. <laughs> they're friendly. Um, they can respond to their name. It's like, so you've taken 50 years to make something that's kind of like a dog, but just way more unpredictable and marks everything in your house and bites more? That's so sick. <laughs> But it's kind of like a dog, and that's that's what they want. So that's that's sick. Dog domestication took a very long time. Yeah, no, we're talking fox domestication in Russia. It was like a 50 year experiment or something like that. They're still doing it though, so it's been more than 50 years now. And they're like $8,000 each. Yeah, to go get a fox from, from there. It's, it's like $8,000 just for the animal, let alone the transport. To get you there and to get the fox back and you back. Over $9,000, hmm. If you saw a fox in the wild that looks similar to Finn, there's a chance this does naturally occur. This, this silver fox is just much less common, obviously, than, than the traditional red one that you see. But it's possible that it was a gray fox. Uh, gray foxes are native here, and they are gray, uh, but they're lighter than he is, and they're <laughs> much smaller. And they have, like, little heads and little legs. It's a bit darker than Finn. Oh, interesting. How fast are foxes? I think like 30 miles an hour. Yeah, that's a ban, by the way. I was trying to do it on my phone, but I can't. Um, but for the record, to address it, um, all the animals that we have at Alvaeus are non-releasable, uh, which means that they cannot be released to the wild either because they don't know how to take care of themselves or they're permanently injured or for these foxes because they don't know how to take care of themselves because they were raised by people. So their options are either being euthanized or remaining in captivity. There's a lot of options for captivity for these animals. Some are really awful and some are really great. And I believe that the animal care that we do here is really great. And I think the enclosures that we do are really great. So I'm happy to give them that home. And the other thing that I've learned in doing conservation education since like 2017 or so is the most powerful way to teach people is with ambassadors, um, with animal ambassadors. And so you can go into a classroom and you can do a PowerPoint presentation and teach kids about the Amazon all day. They're not going to remember, um, but if they meet a parrot, they'll remember. You know, if you guys ever had any of those presentations and you were little, I remember when they brought like blank to your school or you went and you saw this at the zoo. Uh, that's what works. That's what makes people care about them. And so that's the model. But it's a fine line to walk for sure of making sure people see them and their reaction isn't like, oh, he's so cute, I want one. He's drinking. You hear him? Also, I think it's a pretty clear distinction, but I don't, I don't think of these as my animals by any means. Uh, there are people that work here full time to care for these animals. Um, I'm on site because I work here full time, but these are not my pets. 
um, at all. <laughs> I do not think of them like my pets. I don't take care of them like my pets. I don't want any of them in my house. I don't want to personally own any of them. They're all ambassadors, educational ambassadors. And they're all chosen too, not by what I want, not by what I want to, to hang out with and what I want on my property. They're chosen uh, based on the space that we have, the resources that we have, and the conservation angle that we can use to teach them. Um, that's why all the animals that we have have such a strong conservation message, and also why I haven't gotten capybaras. Uh, we've we've been offered plenty of capies, um, and they're least concern, and I don't see a powerful educational message, and even though I love capybaras, and I've taken care of them, and everybody loves them, and they would farm because the internet loves them, uh, there's just not a good reason to get one from an educational standpoint, and that's what we're here for. So, yeah, that's how we pick them all. All right. Shall we go do the parrots? <laughs> Let's go see the parrots. Hi, buddy. That opinion, though, does come from a super valid place because I know a lot of people who have zoos or whatever or, like, do education and really, like, Joe Exotic, right? Like, really, he just wants tigers and, like, wants a bunch of them for, herself, for himself. And he's like, oh, I'm doing this to save the tigers when, like, it's so detrimental to tigers, you know? Um, there are plenty of people in exotics who uh, take advantage of the situation and they have them as pets because they love them and they want them, but then they tell everybody else, like, you can't have one, only I can have one because I'm saving it, when really they're just exploiting them. It happens for sure, it definitely happens. It's a fine line to walk. But we do our best. That's my Caleb impression. Adult. Yeah, for the record, if I didn't have an animal sanctuary, the only animals I would want to have, genuinely, I think, like my current pets, I would not get any more ferrets, I wouldn't get any more rodents, I don't even know that I'm going to get any more dogs, to be honest, uh, I would probably just have goats and chickens. I would have like a bunch of goats and like a small-ish chicken coop. That's probably it. Okay. Bagel bite is not like, it's not like I had been wanting a mouse. I just had to pick him up to move him when I was picking up our rats. And I picked him up and I was like, well, he's gonna get eaten. And then I brought him home. Mice make okay pets, but they're nocturnal. They're kind of like hamsters. They can be really sweet, but like, you know, they're not the easiest to handle. And they definitely can bite and they can bite hard. Would you get another horse? I would only get another horse if I was not working anymore. Like when I retire, sure. But working full time plus, Definitely not. I, if I want to do like, when I have a horse, the ideal, if it's like in its prime, Acero is 21. He could still be ridden and like could still be worked, but I think he's happy to be chilling right now. I would feel bad if Acero was like 10, but a horse in its prime, like 10 years old, whatever, I would want to be spending like at least two to three hours a day out at the barn with it, riding and like actually working. Um, and I just don't have that kind of time. I know. But I love horses. They're a ton of work. I had two horses at one point. Um, Acero and Razzie. Charismatic. Um, and it was like, it was such a mistake. It was, it was way too much, way too much. Um, 
and I felt like I didn't. And she was a yearling too, so I was starting her under saddle. And so I had to spend all my time with her and Acero just got like back burner for a year until I sold her. So can't can't do two horses for me. It's too much. It's too hard. All right, pair enrichment. These are so fun. Look at these. Oh my god. They're not messing around. I wouldn't say ferrets are like hard pets to own. It depends on, they're not legal in all states. Like they were, they're not legal in California. They are legal in Texas. Um, but, uh, hi. Um, they're just really stinky. Like they poop a lot and their poop smells really bad. And they're not great about litter boxes. Like it's hard to get them to use a litter box. So for that reason, I like, probably wouldn't recommend them. Cause I would feel bad having a parrot if it wasn't able to free range like mine have been able to since I got them. And so if you're not willing to like have to clean up poop all the time, then it's probably not for you. That's for you. That's such a fun one. I think they're illegal in some places because of the risk that they can get out and become invasive. What do you think? Hello, Birdie. Hello, Birdie. That's for you. Okay, Makaz, you gonna let me do this? Where can I put this? I need to put it right where you are. I can't just give you the whole thing. You need to drop it. She's gonna drop that. Okay, you both have one. Here, look. Okay. Okay. The stream is lacking in Corvid content. That's insane that you would say that because we were just in with the crows. Check back in the VOD. We don't know how old the African Grey is because she's a rescue. What's in there? A Nutriberry. They love their neutral berries. Because of Jeopardy yesterday, what kind of feet do parrots have? Parrots have zygodactyl feet. Two toes in the front, two toes in the back. But from Jeopardy, backing up, from Jeopardy, uh, the most common foot arrangement in birds and chicken feet are enisodactyl. People poo poo doo doo head, thank you for the sub. And Coach, thank you for the sub. Zonaya, thank you for the sub. Siren is really quiet today. It's because she's working on her toy. Oh, she got a pecan. They love pecans. Oh, no. She's gonna lose a finger trap. You're gonna lose your finger trap. <laughs> Can parrots move one toe from front to back? No, parrots always have two toes in the front, two toes in the back. Uh, you can see it with Tico. Um, two backwards facing, two frontwards front facing. 
Ospreys are really cool in that they can have both anisodactyl and zygodactyl feet because one of their toes can hinge forward and backwards because it helps them perch and catch fish uh, because that's their main food source. But they're pretty unique in being able to, to have that hinging toe. Most birds do not. You guys know there's a whole extra one, by the way. Do they eat fig fish regularly? Ospreys do. These birds do not. These birds don't eat any meat. Can Mia, Tico, or Miley fly? Uh, Mia can fly. She does fly. Tico and Miley can fly. They don't know how. So we're working on teaching them how to fly. Yay, good job, Tico. Siren, how's that going? Pretty good. How do you go about teaching them to learn how to fly? Sounds hard. Um, so over here, <laughs> when? Over here we have these two, um, I'm blanking on the name, I just said it earlier today. Uh, oh my gosh, chat, sawhorses, thank you. Two sawhorses, <laughs> um, and we get them a cause to go from one to the other. And then we just slowly separate them until it's too hard to like lean and fall into one of them, and then they kind of have to jump. Um, and then we separate them further, and then they eventually have to fly from perch to perch. Okay. Siren, you find a treat. Do you have fun? Okay, you guys. Um, that is it for everybody. I'm going to grab the uh, basket and bring it up. Um, but we'll switch to the parrot cam right now. Um, and then... Actually, no, we'll switch to night cam so you guys can see what everybody's doing. Thank you. Thank you. No, Pee Wee. He was on stream today a couple times. Thank you so much. Guys, merch ends in three hours. Thank you, Space. Uh, make sure to pick up your night mode t-shirt if you want that shirt. If you don't, no worries. Um, but thank you so much. Um, Thank you guys for being here on this stream, uh, on the Alvea stream. If you were here on my stream as well and you stayed for the raid, you're real and everyone else is fake. Thank you so much. Just subscribed. And I will see you guys next week. I have to look at my calendar for what the next stream is. I actually don't know. Sorry. Okay. Okay, goodbye.